In the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, and clothed him in a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the community of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome. Uh, Father Chris here celebrating Mass for the third Thursday of Ordinary Time, but it's also the feast day of St. Thomas Aquinas, hence the light. Uh, for those of you at home, please send me your guardian angel for extra blessings. Guardian angel at my side, go to the church for me, kneel in my place at Holy Mass where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own, and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At Holy Consecration's bell, adore with Sarah's love, my Jesus hidden in the host, come down from heaven above. When the priest communion takes, so bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest on mine, and I his temple be. Again, brothers and sisters, welcome. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy in us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Thomas Aquinas outstanding in his zeal for holiness, in the study of sacred, sacred doctrine, grant us, we pray, that we may understand what he taught and imitate what he accomplished. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since through the blood of Jesus we have confidence of entrance into the sanctuary by the new and living way he opened for us through the veil, that is, his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a sincere heart and in absolute trust, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed in pure water. Let us hold unwaveringly to our confession that gives us hope. For he who made the promise is trustworthy. We must consider how to rouse one another to love and good works. We should not stay away from our assembly, as is the custom of some, but encourage one another, and this all the more, as you see the day drawing near. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this, this is the people, people that longs to see your, your face. The lords of the earth in its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, Lord this, this is the people, people that longs to see your, your face. face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand by his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel um, is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed and not to be placed on a lampstand. There is nothing hidden except to be made visible, nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears ought to hear. He also told them, take care of what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Jesus. Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. 
my brothers and sisters, welcome back. <coughs> you know, I don't remember much about St. Thomas Aquinas, except that, uh, that he, he really, I mean, he died at like 50, so very young in that respect. The older I get, the younger he is at, at when he died, but nonetheless. Um, so uh, he basically redid uh, the, the, um, the Summa Theologica, where he in essence took what we believe as Catholics, uh, as Christians, and then kind of asked questions, like questions that people would have asked about certain beliefs that we had. Um, and then so that was his way of, of then then he would answer he would answer the questions and the questions that people would have uh, if they were like enemies of the church. So he really looked validly at the at the rationale behind what he professed, what we profess uh, as being Catholic. He organized a whole lot of stuff in this in a very short short period of time that he had in his life. He organized volumes and, and so much in our church that that, that truly helped us, us all in that respect. Um, but there's one scripture, one quote from him that I remember uh, that basically says it's all straw. Like shortly before he died, he looked at life. He looked at everything that we have here in this world and said it's basically meaningless. It has a meaning, of course, because we're body and soul. So you can't say that he doesn't mean that it's meaningless on one level, but he means in comparison, like everything that you could gain here in this world, in comparison to being with God in heaven, is nothing. It is so meaningless in that respect that it's very, it's a very good idea in our lives to take that step forward to say, I need to back away from anything. And I do mean any and everything that would limit me from getting closer to God. If there's something there that stops me from getting closer to God, it's got to be jettisoned. Or at least I should be working, even if my whole life of trying to break free of any structure, any person, anything, any philosophy uh, that limits me from getting closer to God. That's how serious Thomas was in what he saw. But that's exactly what Jesus is saying here. You know, he talks about, uh, is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket? Of course not. You bring it in, you put it on a lampstand, or you put it on a table where the light can hit everywhere that you need it to, as far as you can see in the house. Uh, hence why we have lights in each room of the house. Of course, we have electricity. Uh, so we don't really need it unless we have a storm, but nonetheless. Uh, so, so, so the light is to sh be shared with the world. That's our lives. It isn't just that we belong to Jesus, it's that other people should know that we belong to Jesus. And, and where I remember reading in many places where the world can't stand the fact that anybody that's, that pretends to be a Christian actually doesn't live up to uh, what Jesus Christ is calling us to be as Christians. And I would certainly agree on that in respect. I would definitely agree to say, look, we need to do what we need to do to be the light for this world. Uh, that we are called to love, we are called to serve. And this last part of what he's saying really puts it into its proper perspective. He says, the measure with you, with which you measure will be measured out to you. There's another way of saying this. The, 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 the more love that you give another person, the more love you're receiving. You know, if we ever stop in this life to say, well, you know what, I've got what's mine. Who cares about anybody else? We've already lost. He already had a story about a man like that who basically made all kinds of money. Uh, he, he had giant crops and basically said, you know what, uh, what am I going to do? I know I'll build bigger barns, tear down old ones, build bigger barns where I can store everything of what I have from this year's uh, harvest. And I will put that away. And for me, I have nothing but good things from here until the end of my life. Well, that's useless. It's completely useless. You know, I'm not saying that we shouldn't try to save up for retirement. That's not at all the purpose here. The purpose is to say, if you're not caring about other people at all, because, hey, I've got mine, and the heck with you. Uh, that is not our God. That is not what our God desires from us. That is not what he calls us to. And that's the whole purpose of church. It's the purpose of our faith is that we can more and more understand clearly what love is. And through our service and love and commitment to other people in our lives, uh, uh, that we would help them to understand. We would understand better God's love for us. And through that, better help other people to understand God's love for them, uh, which also comes back to us. I really at times just imagine, it's a crazy thought maybe, but at the same point in time, can you imagine when you get to heaven of meeting people and seeing people that are there, number one, uh, that, you, that you had an opportunity to help but didn't? You know, the person looking at you like, really, Fred, you could have helped me out here, buddy, but you chose not to. You know, even more so if, if at my judgment God points out to me people that I lost uh, to hell for all eternity because I didn't help them or even more so took advantage of them. And because of that, uh, they decided not to follow God by my bad example. Oh, dear Lord, please save me from that. You know, save us all from that. Help us all to know you, to love you, to serve you. That's what St. Thomas Aquinas is all about with his great intellect. He uses to serve a church. He didn't use it for his own personal whims or his own his own uh, edification or his own uh, gain in the background. Say, hey, look at all the, 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 the degrees I have or all the accolades that I have. Well, that's meaningless when you finally get to see God and say, everything that I had in this world is left behind. 
The only thing that remains is the love that I gave, uh, the love that you gave. Yes, that we also receive love, of course. We need that in our lives. But uh, if the primary focus is how I love other people, not so much how they love me, everything falls into perspective. And then exactly as St. Thomas said, everything in this world is straw. May we really absorb that uh, knowledge, that insight that he had for us. Uh, may we truly live our lives based upon the principles and the desire of Jesus Christ to know him, to serve him, to love him, and our neighbor is the Ten Commandments. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let's now lift up our intentions to our Lord. The intentions of Pope Francis for, um, for everything our church is doing, for our leadership, both lay and ecclesial, uh, for all our leaders to truly um, encourage and lead other people closer to Jesus Christ. We pray for the Lord. For today's Mass intentions, for Rebecca Kennedy, for, I'm sorry, for Ursula, for Sister Enda Eileen Byrne and her MSC and her community, Everybody praying for her, we pray to the Lord. Lord our also for the people in our prayer and intention hotline, for Rebecca Kennedy, for Ed Reeder, Jordan Bates, the trainers, the Jensens, and the Reagans, for these people, their, their families, and everybody praying for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord our the prophets may rise up from among every people, we pray to the Lord. Lord our that the baptized may share the gospel's light with all who seek it, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, and for what else should we pray for this day? For our brothers and sisters, our children, and teachers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For special intentions and in thanksgiving, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For my nephew and all of the neighbors, and for more and we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God of insight, in Christ your wisdom takes flesh, revealing the fullness of life. Show us the path of insight that we may hear and understand and so light the way for all nations and peoples. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept sacrifice, sacrifice to your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the Holy Church. Church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of St. Thomas Aquinas be pleasing to you, O God. For taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Thomas you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Then once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with St. Thomas Aquinas, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let the, the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other, Son, praise, peace. 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 Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, not worthy, you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Those of you at home, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul, since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 
Amen, indeed. Let us pray. Through Christ, the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ, the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Thomas they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity for Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Say, my God, with your angel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May, May God, God rebuke him with comfort and pray. And thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, host by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the spirits, and all the the world, seek into our souls. Amen. God bless y'all. Have a great day and a great rest of your week. Thank you.